Hey out there, thanks for tuning in. So the following video is from a six day vacation that Diane and I did. We had like a spur of the moment vacation that we had to take. So we went down to Atlantic City and we, we played this game, how much can we get for free? Like the hotel rooms were all free. I'm gonna show you four different hotel rooms that we stayed in down there. We stayed in this mini suite, it's called the Fiori Suite at the Borgata for two nights. A regular room over at Ocean Resorts a regular room at Hard Rock, and then the last two nights we stayed in this beautiful suite at Hard Rock, um, the Celebrity Suite. I get some clips of uh, p video poker play. I didn't win any real big jackpots, but I did get some decent play. We ate at some great restaurants, so I'll give you like a mini review of Izakaya Japanese Restaurant, Council Oaks, which is at uh, Hard Rock, it's a steakhouse. Il Molino, which is at Hard Rock. Did you see my Italian accent there? Which is a, uh, a really nice place. And then also wait until the end of the video. I show, I show you our haul of all the free gifts that the casinos gave us. We had like this game that we played to go to all the different casinos to get all the freebies. From the gifts to the free play to the gift cards. I think Diane got five bottles of wine. <laughs> So if you're on your way down to Atlantic City or you want to go out to a casino and try to get some freebies, maybe this is entertaining to you guys. And now also at the end of the video, I want to give you a couple tips to maybe maximize the comps that you get from casinos, from free rooms to free gifts to free play comps in a variety of different ways. So I hope you enjoy. All right, first day in Atlantic City. Just checked into the Borgata. I'm in our room, it's called the Fiori King Room. It's not a suite, it's a uh, like a mini suite, I guess. Let me take you for a little tour. It's nice, it's like tastefully decorated. This is like a little foyer area with some tile. Nice clean carpet, king size bed. In room dining menu, gotta get room service while I'm here, right? It's nice, nice big windows. This is a, a view of the, the bay area. There's uh, the oceans way over there, you can't quite see it. That's a bridge going over to Brigantine. That's a water club. It's part of the Borgata, but it's like a, like a boutique hotel, I guess. It's a little distance from the casino, quieter. Over there is uh, Harrah's. You could just about see Golden Nugget over there. So this is a nice room. Coffee maker, but we're not gonna need that. We bring our own coffee maker. Nice big TV. I like this little lounge area. Now the bathroom is huge. Marble, two vanities. I don't even have two vanities at my own house, huh? Little makeup station, I guess. Stand up shower, that's nice. Bathtub is nice too. And you know you have to have one of those, right? Little mirror. Hey, I gotta put my money in that safe, right? Well, first I gotta get some. If I come to a casino or even a casino town like Atlantic City or Las Vegas, and I'm gonna be there for more than two days, I like to get a, uh, like an activity plan together, like an itinerary. I'm laughing because <laughs> Diane looks at me and rolls her eyes when I do something like this. I put a whiteboard together for, for this vacation outlining all the casinos and what they're what what freebies they're given set up uh four different dinner reservations tomorrow i'm playing in a poker tournament from 11 o'clock till whenever it's an unusual poker tournament it's a 300 dollars buy-in and one in ten people win three thousand dollars typically it'll get down to the end in the first or the the last 10 people make money it's a little unusual while i'm at the poker tournament diane's going to go to the spa so that's gonna be nice. We're meeting some friends for dinner on Sunday night. Let me show you the, uh, the whiteboard that I put together. So I put it together on the whiteboard and then I jotted it down on a daily basis. So this way, when we wake up, I can look at it and I can say, hey, you know what? I got the poker tournament today, you got the spa, we got dinner tonight, we have a bunch of things to do. So let me show you that. This is the whiteboard I was talking about. So that's all the stuff that's going on and that we're gonna do when we're down there. I get all of that off of these mailers. Every month we get bombarded with mailers from 
the casinos. So this is a variety of, from valleys to hard rock to Borgata to oceans resorts. Let me show you. So here's one from Hard Rock. So we're gonna play in the $10,000 slot tournament on the 21st. And then they send you something like this. It's a calendar of all their freebies. So that's where I get all of that information from. I don't know if you could see all the different activities that were listed on that whiteboard, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Especially during a week, like Sunday through Thursday, I think the casinos are slow, so they want to give away more stuff to draw people down here. <laughs> I'm laughing because one of the things, one of the casinos is giving away mops. We're getting two mops. Another time, uh, espresso maker. Diane's getting four bottles of wine in one day. Well, I get two, she gets two, but she's getting all four. <laughs> now, I might use the term free, but I'm not delusional. I don't think everything is free. It's because of the, uh, the play that we put into the casinos. And I'm definitely not a know-it-all, but I try to get as, the most bang for my buck as possible. I'm going to try to show you guys some stuff while I'm down in the casino, what I do in order to accumulate points. Here's one trick you guys probably already know, but you and your spouse or you and your partner or whoever should, uh, should play on the same card. Accumulate points more. And then I play this game, Jacks Are Better, and it's called 9-6 because of the pay table. I'll show you that in a little bit. But you, you get a lot of play. The jackpots aren't that big, but you get to play there for a long time. And the more time you put in, the more points you get. So, like I said, I'm not delusional that this stuff is free because we come down quite a bit. But getting the rooms for free, like this room is, is free. And then after this, we're going to go to Ocean. We're going to stay a night over there. I've never stayed over there. Then after that, we're going over to Hard Rock for a few nights. And I think we have a suite over at the Hard Rock, which is going to be sweet. <laughs> I was dying to sneak that in. So I'll show you guys a little more in a minute. Using the free play at Hard Rock. I'm only playing quarter, so at least it's 100 bucks, though. So I'm playing double, double bones, which means it gives more support behind, as you can see. And it's progressive. So I like to hit the Royal Flush or four aces with a two, three, or four. So cross your fingers. All right, so I hit the progressive. Four small cards. It was 420 kids. Not a bad way to start the day, huh? All right, so the bad thing about being in 4151 is how far you have to walk to the elevator. All right. So it's Wednesday. Not a lot of people are here tonight. I'm gonna be over there later. Throwing some dice. Never been up at that bar. They got video poker at the bar though. Hey, these are kind of new. So you don't have to actually play over at the table. And you can play blackjack, roulette, baccarat, craps. But you're not, you're not like interacting with other people, so I've never done it before. I might try it. This is closed right now because it's a weekday and they close early, but this is the Amphora Lounge. That's where we usually go to eat. It's a, like a buffet, free drinks, and it's nice. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is the Borgata that we're I'm going to meet Diane. She ordered the food and I brought, I snuck in some drinks to bring them upstairs. You know what kind of drinks? Cream, half and half, and her soup cream. Yep, snuck them in. So look, on the week, weekends, this place is usually mobbed. So I kind of like it like this when it's uh, empty. This is where we're going to eat bread and butter. If you ever come to Borgata, I've never been let down over here. It's always good food. Where is my bride? Where is she? Where is my bride? There she is. She's waiting for me. So this is a game I usually don't play, but every once in a while. It's fun, <clears throat> but I think you go through a lot of money. It's Joker Poker. So you need two pair or better in order to qualify. The nice part about this is Street Flush pays $500. And there's a joker involved, so kind of something to look forward to. It pays pretty 
good for like flushes and stuff too, considering that there's a wild card. But you're not holding jacks or better because you need two pair. Checked into the Ocean Resort. First impressions is it's nice. We never stayed here before. The room's not ready, but we checked our bags. Hey, right, nice on the beach. It's overcast right now, but the uh, sun is trying to sneak its head out of the clouds. We're gonna take a walk on the boardwalk. We're gonna go down to the Starbucks get a cup of coffee. All right, so we're just checked into our room at the Ocean. Ocean Resort, room 506. Say hi. Okay. Nice. It's not as nice as the Borgata Fiore, but it is nice. Nice big walk-in shower. I left the door on the toilet. I wish the door went all the way down to the floor. Nice. King size bed. I swear that bed is bigger than Borgata, except the room over at Borgata was bigger, so maybe it didn't look as big. But man, it's really nice, like tastefully decorated. Decent sized TV. Let's see what kind of view we got over here. Whoa, that's some foggy stuff. I don't know if you guys can see the pool. People are in the pool. I don't know how that's going on because it's like 45 degrees outside. Anyway, <clears throat> this is Ocean Resort. Oh, if that queen would have been an ace two or a three, it would have been a lot nicer. But who's complaining? So check out the fog outside. So we're up on the 41st floor, and it's like we're in a cloud. Can't see anything out there. It's a little chilly out. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nicer. I did not get into the money with the poker tournament. I got knocked out after like an hour and a half. I think there was like 70, 75 people that entered. Anyway, so I didn't get into the money. It would have been nice to win the 3,000. We have a reservation tonight at a Japanese restaurant we've never been to. So once we get over there, I'll tell you a review. So this is the pot, spa and pool floor. And I hate to admit this, we have never been to this floor before. It's beautiful. Diane's getting a facial and a massage room, so we came to check it out. So this is the pool, right? I don't know how high these ceilings are. They have to be 50 foot ceilings. It's beautiful. And you come into the spa area. Diane. Mm -hmm. Then the gym full gym over here, which I've never gone to. I might have to go. All right, so this is a card machine. You swipe your card, and then you see what you got coming to you. So like today is a special promotion. It's up to 20 times slot dollars. So cross your fingers. Two times, come on, come on. So this is called triple double video poker. Triple double bonus. And the payouts for the four returns, there's bonuses. That's why they call it triple double bonus. So like four aces with a two is $4,000. Four small cards with a small card, $2,000. So let me show you. This is jacks or better that I mentioned. They call it jacks or better because it's jacks or better. But here's why this machine is the low house edge because of the payout. They call it 9-6 because the full house pays 9 for one credit and the flush 6. This is a great game to play as far as if you're concerned about the house edge. I think it pays 99.54 back. This is what I'm going to be playing for a while because I have the two-time multiplier. Wish me luck. That's the high limit room at the Borgata. Numeraldo. I'm going to have to show you some of the machines in here. 
Well, these ones aren't. I mean, these are still big. They're bigger than what I play. Five dollars. But I'll show you. They have hundred dollar machines in here also. I just ordered myself a coffee. We got Diana Bailey's in coffee. I'm be a rock star to her. All right, so this could bother me getting four tubes, and I had a low card before I drew. So this pays $125 on Jack Triple. It would have paid $2,000 if I'm triple double. However, in all fairness, I wouldn't have been playing because Jack Better was giving me so much more play. So, I figured I'd throw that little wine out there. So the security guard came over to me when I was taping, when I was videoing the uh, sports book. He said, no videotaping it. I was gonna do some kind of an accident. I don't know what kind of accident I was gonna do. But anyway, no videotaping in the casino. So you can see how undisciplined I am. I'm playing triple double, but I reduced it to 50 cents instead of a dollar. So just to kill some time before the tournament. And this pays 239 credits for four of a kind versus the Jacks or Betters 125. Now you may be asking, why did it pay only 239? Why not an even 250? And that's because this machine you can play five dollars a nomination. And 239 times five puts you under the $1,200 mark for a hand pay. So it's advantageous for a big time player playing $25 a push. So that's why. Anyway, so that's a nice little Benny to get me going this morning. I forgot to get a video of the regular room at the Hard Rock, but I'm gonna show you the view. We're switching rooms in a couple hours, so I'll show you the, the new room as soon as we get it. We already messed up the room, so I don't wanna show it to you. But this is the, uh, the ocean view. We're up on the 15th floor, and that is called the Steel Pier. That's another tower here at the Hard Rock. We're in the North Tower, that's the South Tower. If you're coming down to the Hard Rock, the South Tower is closest to the casino. And I think the North Tower might be a little nicer. Later I'll show you the uh, the room we're gonna switch over to. It's supposed to be nice. And that is the Atlantic Ocean. Paul Simon. They have the memorabilia, the rock memorabilia all over Hard Rock. I guess hence the name, Hard Rock. I'm playing jacks are better. And it's not even painful to hit four threes on jacks are better because I'm up playing jacks are better, so that's how I look at it. We're playing two dollar denomination, so it's ten dollars a push. The four of a kind only $125. Now four threes on double double is four hundred dollars. Four threes with a kicker is two thousand dollars. However, I would never be playing two dollar double double. This game's not as fast, it's not as exciting, but it's still $250 when you, when you hit. And I'm trying to accumulate points because we're getting a sweep for the next three nights. That's the entrance to the Hard Rock Casino. When you pull in, if you want to get valet, which we always get valet, it's over here. By the way, a little plug for um, Hard Rock Valet, the best valet ever. Can you tell where the Hard Rock? The taxi pulling over here, but over here in the front when you come that way, if you give them, I forget how much you do, 50 or 60 hours, but park your car here, 
How about that Lamborghini SUV? What do you think that goes for? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm usually not impressed with vehicles, but man, that is a beautiful SUV. So we're waiting for our friends, Al and Jerry, to show up. Al is a longtime friend of mine. He's older now, he's in his 70s. I knew him in Hawaii back in the early 90s. <clears throat> so him and Jerry got a room tonight here where we have dinner reservations at Council Oak Steakhouse, the best steak ever. We got all kinds of free food vouchers. I think we have $500 of free food vouchers. So it feels nice to be able to treat people. He wouldn't let me treat them unless I had the free food vouchers. So I'm waiting for him to arrive. We're gonna take a, a ride around to get some more freebies. I gotta show you the freebies we got. What did we get? We got the Instapot, we got the uh, a cheese board, we got bathrobes, we got a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta show you. I'll show you my, my haul at the end of the trip. But it's Sunday, the casino's starting to slow down, which we love the casino when it slows down a little bit. Oh, that Lamborghini I just showed you? I looked it up, $218,000. Ah! I think we bought two houses for, for less than $218,000. Just a perspective. So we're hoping that Al and Jerry are still hungry because they have a buffet upstairs at the VIP lounge. Yeah, we feel special because we can go to the VIP lounge and we'll bring them over there. So I'll show you the freebies later on. This is Jack's or Better. It's not nearly as exciting as Triple Double or Double Double because the four of a kind is a 125 compared to Triple Double. It varies depending on what kind of a four of a kind you get, but could it be as much as $4,000 if you get four aces with a small card. And this also is not the best jacks or better game because as you can see, it doesn't pay nine six for the full house and a flush, it pays eight five. So any real video poker enthusiast out there will say, Harry, why the hell are you playing that? Well, it's the only thing that's available at Hard Rock and we're getting a suite for free, so I gotta give them some play. Let me play a couple of hands. I slowed it down a little bit. I usually play it a lot faster than this, but let's see what happens. So this is $2, which means, like if I got a four of a kind, 125 is actually $250, which is nice. And again, this is the reason why I play this sometimes. Here's a great example of, I'm not holding the aces, I'm holding that because I was trying to get the royal. But here's a good example of a game where the extra the extra five that you get for two pair and three of a kind compared to triple double, it really makes a difference. Like your money lasts so much longer. It might not see it might not seem that way in just a little clip that I'm gonna make here for the video, but in the long run, you get to keep your money going a lot longer, which accumulates more points. And I need to get some points in order to justify getting a free sweep for three nights. So, I figured I'd show you guys. So like, there's a good example. The extra five on that, if I was playing triple would be, I would have won 10, but I won 15. So the extra five represents $10. Keeps me going longer. I think you guys get the point. It's room 1459 at the Hard Rock. It's called the Celebrity Suite. I ain't got it. Nice little half bath over here. Little bar area for entertaining. This is nice. Like, let's check out the view. So there's the Atlantic Ocean, the Steel Pier. We moved from another room. I think I showed you guys earlier. It was nice, but this is nice. Right, so this is the living area. And that's the half bath over there. And this is the bedroom. It's like really like classy, like you feel kind of special in here. Everything is newer and well put together. Nice views. Got the boss up there on the wall, Springsteen. We got the bathroom in here. Nice tub, right? I said I was gonna take a bath in the uh, Borgata tub, but I never did. This is nice, nice big shower. All right. Beautiful. Oh, I gotta tell you, I needed this. So this is a progressive. 
double double bonus. It would have been the same amount if I was playing triple double. And then if I was playing jacks or better, I wouldn't have hit it. Man, we have a beautiful day here today in Atlantic City. Atlantic Ocean. You got the Ocean Resort down there. That's the old showboat casino, which they still, I think Stockton College has some students in there for dorm rooms. And there's an arcade, but no more casino. That's the uh, Hard Rock Tower that we're staying in. That's the other Hard Rock Tower. So you got the Hard Rock right there. Obviously, right? You can't quite see it. It's resorts back there. Those two taller buildings. And this is the famous Atlantic City Boardwalk. I think it's the longest boardwalk in the world. I don't know if anybody knows this, but <clears throat> I don't see any signage around here, but there's a cat colony that lives under here, and volunteers come down and clean this place. Matter of fact, there is a sign. Pretty cool, right? It doesn't look that healthy, but there's another one, too. So, heading down that way, you're going to resorts, valleys, Caesars. And the only casino down that way is Ocean Resorts. All right, so last day here, we're all packed. Di, where are you? You cannot take that! So I had a $300 voucher I put in. That's what I'm spending because we're leaving today. So I'm either going bust or putting it up to a thousand. Playing triple double, nice way to start. So this is not a machine I usually play. Five star poker. Plus it's like ultimate X. I don't really like it. Like I never seem to get the multiplier. However, in this case, it really paid off. I sat down at the machine, put $100 in, and I said, you know what? I got the $100 in, I might as well play it. So it paid off. Four sevens at three times. Nice. So this is the actual hall of the gifts that we received when we were down in Atlantic City. I'm going to talk to you guys more about the, you know, free play, the free food, the awesome dinners, some room service and things like that. But these are the, you should have saw us packing up the car when we were leaving. So Diane scored with five bottles of wine. We missed the cutoff. We could have got four more bottles over at one of the casinos, I think resorts, but we only scored five bottles. I don't drink, so who cares, right? <laughs> These bottles, I, I really like them, right? But they're from Starbucks. We got them for free. But they're like $35 each. I don't know who's paying $35 for a cold, hot bottle from Starbucks, but they're really nice. 
but I, I probably wouldn't have got them unless they were free. We got two more of the small ones up here. I swear these small ones are like 20 something dollars. And then that one right there, that white one, that white hot cup, I have one downstairs. That's like $30 also. They're really expensive, but they're really nice. We got this espresso maker. I, I forget what casino we got that from. We got this mini charcoal grill, and it was sent to us. So we had it on our doorstep when we came home from Atlantic City. Uh, that was from the Hard Rock. That crock pot back there, a little cheesy, but there's two little ones in there. We got that cheese board thing over there. These uh, bathrobes, we got two bathrobes, matching bathrobes from Borgata. And they're not the cheesy ones, like, that's no, like, pun on the cheese board. They're not, like, they're, like, thick, and they're, like, lush, like, they're nice. Got two of these sweatshirts from Borgata also. No one of these Echo Dots. Diane knows more about that than I do. Two sets of sheets. I think Belarusso are good sheets, so they're microfibers. We got these cast iron skillets. We got two of them, which we'll probably be giving a lot of this stuff away for gifts. We got this Instapot. Now, funny story about this Instapot. We got it from Bally's, which is a mile each way from... Where were we staying? We were staying at Ocean Ocean Resort that day. So it's a mile away. We took a taxi on the way back from Bally's because we were not walking with, with all that uh, weight. It's like 15 pounds. We got these bamboo accessory things. Yes, they will be gifts. And this canister set from somewhere. Got these Amazon gift cards here. That's $210 worth of Amazon gift cards. So that's the haul of the gifts. I want to tell you guys about the uh, the free food and stuff, too. So that was the haul. We got the haul of gifts. That's the physical stuff that we brought home with us. We got a bunch of other perks while we were there. I'm going to go over with you guys. You could probably sense that we treat going down to Atlantic City like it's a game. We're going down there to play some games. Plus, we treat getting freebies, freebies from the casinos like it's a game. We never go down there for this length of time. As a matter of fact, we came back a day early. We were going to stay over one more night. And we said, you know what? Let's get out of here. Like, I had the itinerary for all the freebies. We went to a whole bunch of different places. We had a fantastic time. But being in that environment gets a little old after, I'm going to probably say three days. You could probably spend three days down there and it's fine. Anything more than three days, you better have a plan put together or they'll lock you in the casino and you can't get out. So you saw the haul of all the gifts. I'm, I'm tallying up. I, I just like to run numbers and just in my own head just to see what kind of value I get for the, uh, for the money that we put through the machines. I'm going to give you the, uh, the amount that we put through the machines in a second. But I came up with about $1,200 in, in free gifts, including the gift cards. Besides that, the food. We ate at three gourmet restaurants while we're, while we're down there. And what was the most expensive one? The most expensive one was at Council Oaks at Hard Rock, which is a steakhouse. And it's fantastic. And we also, we treated our two friends, Al and Jerry, while we were down there. When we say treated, we had free food vouchers. We had like $500 worth of free food vouchers. So we treated to the food. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We went down for six days. And like I said... We came back one day early, like spending a whole week down Atlantic City could be tough, especially if you don't have like an itinerary of things to do down there. Atlantic City is still not Vegas as far as with the shows and stuff. You can go out to Vegas probably for a week. There's so many different shows at night and activities around the surrounding area that you could really spend a week out there. Atlantic City is a little different. But we enjoy going down there. And because we enjoy going down there, we try to maximize the comps that we get from the gifts that you saw to the free play, to the free food, the free hotels, and everything else. So, so here's some tips I had promised you guys in the beginning, some tips. Maybe you know about most of these. One tip is if you're going down to the casino, definitely get the casino player's card. It takes five minutes. Go up to wherever their rewards program is. You gotta give them your ID, you get the card, and each time you play, you put the card in the machine. If you're going down there with, let's just say your spouse, your partner, or somebody, then both of you guys play on one card and you'll get more comps. When you sign up for a rewards card down there, in order to entice you back, 
the casinos, right off the bat, most of the casinos are going to send you a free room, like especially during midweek for one or two nights. If you're from this area and it's not too far of a ride, then why not get a couple free nights, especially if it's on the beach like Hard Rock or, or Ocean Resort or Bally's or something like that. The beach is free. The boardwalk is beautiful just to get away for free. On top of that, you probably get some uh, some free food vouchers also. It's a great way to spend a, a weekend, let's say, or, or a couple days during the week. So you get the casino card. Two people play on one card in order to get more comps on that one card. You'll get more uh, comps from the casino. While you're down there, I, I always play video poker. Diane plays slots. This is how casinos look at people that go down and play. They love slot players. The reason why they love slot players and they give the most comps to slot, slot players is because it's the worst game for the player is the higher edge goes to the casino playing slots. So the casino wants you to play slots. So if you're a slot player, then go down, your, go down there, you play slots, you put your card in the machine and you got nothing to lose if you're gonna be playing anyway. I like playing video poker. So here's an example. Let's say for every $10 that you put through the machine as a slot player, you get one point. That's just an example. You have to look at the player's programs to see what they really give. A video poker player will get maybe, maybe you have to put $20 through the machine in order to get one point. But the difference is the house edge is so much less playing video poker. That's why the casino is like, well, we're not going to take as much money off of this guy or this girl. Now, if you play table games only, blackjack, craps, because I love playing craps, too. Matter of fact, I left that session out because I can't videotape me playing craps. But I must have had four or five crap sessions, and I think I had three winners and two losers. If you play table games like that, like craps, blackjack, and then there's all those other hybrid 21 games, Spanish 21, three-card poker, four-card poker, all those other things... The casinos don't give you as many comps for playing table, uh, table games. You'll still get something, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be as much as the other ones. Now, I'm not at all trying to push you towards playing slots to get the most comps. What I'm saying is if you're going to go down there and you enjoy yourself playing, playing a couple bucks at the casino, always get the casino card. You have nothing to lose. I'm trying to put together in my head the numbers as far as how much money we put through the machines while we were there. And it was a lot. What I mean by putting money through the machines, the casino, so let's say you put a $100 bill in a slot machine and you play and you lose that $100. The casino doesn't look at that as you spent $100. They're looking at the money that goes through the machine. So. If you put $100 in a slot machine and you get some play, you know, you win $2 here, you win $5 here, you win $10 here, you win $20 here, and at the end, you lose your, you lose your $100, the casino might have you in the system as having $500 go through the machine. So that's the reason why it's important to track your play with a casino card. If you are a table player, now, not everybody's comfortable with doing this. However, I would be, and I think you should be. If you're a table player, and I'm telling you right now that they don't give you as many comps as the machine players, video poker and slots, and, and you're playing for a while at a, at a table, you could ask the pit boss. You can say, hey, listen, how do, you, how do you have me rated, or how have you been rating me as far as play? And, and they'll tell you, because you have to give the card at the table. A matter of fact, I think you have to have a card in order to play table games down in Atlantic City. But while you're talking to them, if you've been there, especially if you've been there for a while, and I'm laughing because I know not everybody's comfortable with doing this, but it works. You can say to the pit boss when you're asking about how he's rating you or she's rating you, and then say, hey, listen, is there any way you can give me a comp to one of the restaurants? And I got to tell you, if you're there playing for, I don't know, a half hour or an hour, they're going to give it to you. Or they're going to say, you know what, I need another 15 minutes worth of play in order to justify it. And you get a free meal. So... These are just games that, that I, I guess, I enjoy playing when I go down there. I want to get as much bang for my buck as possible. And I imagine you do, too. So, Atlantic City's not for everyone. It is for us. We enjoy going down there. We enjoy getting the freebies like, like I showed you and <laughs> like I talked about. And if you're on your way down there, I guess my point is, if you're on your way down to Atlantic City or Las Vegas... 
learn about the games, get the players' cards, and, and enjoy yourself. What do I say? Bet with your head, not over it.